Yes? Uh, Hi. No, I'm, I'm actually I'm waiting for someone. Oh. I'm in my chair. I think it could be. Could be. Michael, she's more a beehive. Look, look. Yes, elbows. Yes, yes, yes. Elbows. That's, is that? Hang on, keep it talking. Hello, hello. 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 I say Marpa's Not completely sure. No. Try the test. I'll do the test. Hello, hello. How do you do? Again, how? By the way, you don't have to say you love me. Just be close at hand. You don't have to... Stay forever. I hello. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, you. Yes, yes, you did yes, it. Yes, yes, I wish you could. Please, Please do sit down. Dawn Fetch. Oh, hello. She'll be asking the questions, then she'll be putting everything through me. Why? I can, can I answer for no, myself? No, no, it's for safety. I don't want you answering any odd question. I'm kicking off with the questions now. Uh, the first one is quite a personal one. It was not a personal question. No, I always get those. No, just, no. I'm open with it. What is your favourite colour? Hang on. Mm. What is... Your favourite colour? Um, vodka. Vodka. When you were christened, did the vicar just say, I be christened you Dusty? Is that what he called No, it? no, honest to God, that came along later. My real name is Mary Isabel Catherine Bernadette O'Brien. Liar! I still was going to believe That's that. Stupid. That's stupid. stupid. My parents had a pretty eclectic taste in music, and that rubbed off on my brother and I, in that my father was a classical nut. I mean, he, he worshipped Beethoven, and Beethoven was it. I never got into Beethoven. But he played the piano very slowly because he was reading it like this. And he, um, I mean, we would have quizzes uh, when I was about uh, nine. Uh, we could... He would play pieces of music and I'd have to guess the composer. He'd also tap out notations on the back of my hand. Da, 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 da. I had to know what that was. The piece of music by the timing of his fingers on the back of my hand. Seven little girls sitting in a back seat. We had the second version of that. Actually, the third version of that. It was an American one and the Avons had the hit. We had the other way. I believe from uh, researchers that you actually went on tour with the spring box. I beg your pardon? The spring box! Out of the, the blue come blasting out with, I know something about love. Come on, I did. That's it. That's what I want to do. I know something about love. It was like three o'clock in the morning, wherever it is, Broadway or something or other. That's it. That's what I want to do. And we were going to Nashville to make a country album. So I, you know, took the scenic route to it. And then you went solo, did you? Yes, yes, yes I did yes, that. Yeah. Well done, Dusty. Thanks. We're all very, very proud of you. Thanks. You're an icon. Oh, you make me cry. That's really very nice. nice. Mm. You're fabulous. We think you're fabulous. I heard that and went, yes, we could do that, a, you know, with Phil Spector. Uh, sound was the drum sounding like the household cavalry's going past you know i mean as long as it was big mushy sound but i mean that again that was a gift i didn't ask for that song it just came into my life come on it's worth a try come on ask her i'm just thinking look it would come come here, come here. it would just help the viewer at home if you put them on no no, no, well, I, I, and honestly, I can't. On, just do it. First of all, I never wore it. them that Just do it. Them. Just put them no. on. And it's the wrong colour and please, the wrong please, shape. Please, please, please. No, no, no. 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 anymore. Stop trying to make Dusty put these no. on. I won't. Stop it! She doesn't want to do You don't want to put no. them on. Stop it! I wanted to get these sounds on a very, le very limited equipment. And one of the things that drove me crazy about recording in that particular place was it was so dead. I mean, you sort of sing and the sound would start, oop, ha, like that. And I liked much more ambient sound and uh, wilder sound. And so I used to record in the corridors mainly because there was some, some ambience to it. And the best was the ladies' loo. That was great. Much to the surprise of the cleaners one morning, about six, I was doing close my eyes and count to ten. I heard all this clanking down the end of the corridor and they were just, they were standing there and they're sort of, a print pinnies. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> it really was the best sound in there. It was a little echoey and there was no control over it, but it, it 
gave it that sound. It must be great at Christmas that you get around the piano no. with Lulu and Helen Shapiro and people. Dinah and I and all don't those do that. Sure. And just sing along in the soulful melody. Right, so let me just get this right. You left England, our green and pleasant and satanic land, in the year of... Ooh, 73? 73. 73. And you came back in... 89? Um, Is it 89? 89-ish. 89 or not 89? 89-ish, honestly. Okay. Well, what? I mean, you have to be I don't know. About I, I went to Holland. She went to Holland. It was 89. No one's interested in the Holland years, all right? What we're trying to get out of you no one is, is when you left this country and when you came back. Are you prepared to answer that question or not? Not really, no. I mean, I think it's all bloody boring. Well, no, no, hang on. If she left in, in she left 73, in came back in 18, uh, that's four, 40. Carry two down. Divide by three. I've got 49. No, no, I can't no, be right. That's not America. right. Because, no, that's division. No, that makes... God, she was away for 82 years. Los Angeles was just a place I wanted to be. Remember, I mean, I was a small child. that was that grew up on 20th Century Fox musicals. And I always had this love affair with the dream of America. I still do, really. But uh, it's never what you think it's going to be. And it was very, very good to me and very, very bad to me. And it needed to be both for me to be here now. Should we do it now? Yes. It's just something, it's just, we're very big fans and we need to get something signed. Well, that's nice, that at right? least. In a, no, right, no. Just take this bit of paper. Could you ask the Pet Shop Boys to sign it for us? Of course. Because you know them, don't you? Dusty, to me, has, you know, one of the most beautiful voices anyone's ever had in pop music or soul music. Um, she has a very vulnerable quality in her voice uh, and also the, the fantastic way she phrases things and, and she turns, always turns a song into a Dusty Springfield record. There are things that just drop into one's life, you know, I mean I was really sort of debating whether to start singing again or even how to and um, I was just sitting in the garden and, under a tree and got a phone call. It was from Vicky, and she said, uh, there's this really off-the-wall idea. I'm sending you a tape. It's on its way. I need a fast answer. 24 hours or whatever. And I'd heard the Pet Shop Boys because I nearly had an accident on the freeway when I heard West End Girls on the car radio. There was another... Songs have that effect on me. I have to sit down or drive off freeways. And uh, I've been not in a million years thinking I'd work with them. And... The tape arrived very fast, and I called Vicky back in about five minutes and said, well, oh, this is really a great idea. Then she came in, you know, and she, there she was, Dusty Springfield, blonde hair, the eyes. And um, she said, what do you want me to sound like? Um, and, you know, we said, well, we want you to sound like Dusty Springfield. She she'd actually looked quite surprised at that. Um, I don't know what, what she thought we wanted her to sound like. I had no idea what they wanted me to do, though. I just knew I wanted to be a part of it, whatever it was. She sang the two the middle sections of the song. So that song has a very unusual structure. Um, the first one she sang straight, you know, since you went away, I've been... And then the second one, she bent the melody. She kind of dustified the melody. And it really in pulls it into a climax. Um, and I remember being thrilled to death that we had this on one of our records. Absolutely thrilled to death. Although I was dropped in the deep end suddenly on the visibility thing, I was only asked to sing, since you went away. I mean, it's no big deal. <laughs> to go through being a little bit a part of their record and having it be a huge hit in the States and hear it everywhere was kind of a rehearsal for the next bit, which was the, the, the song from Scandal. She records very, very slowly. I think she's always done this as well. She likes to record something a word at a time, even sometimes a syllable at a time. And I remember sitting with Julia Mendelssohn, who we're doing the record with. The first line was, Mandy's in the papers, because she's tried to go to Spain. And the track starts with a great introduction. And she goes, Matt, stops. And I just looked at the lyric sheet. <laughs> There's so many words in this song. <laughs> and I thought, oh, God. <laughs> it's, and I wanted her to double tracks, so quite a lot of it too. But it was fascinating to me watching her do that because she arranged 
she vocally arranged it. She arranged and, and phrased every verse that was slightly different, every chorus that was slightly different, put one of her climaxes into it, uh, right at the end, it may be false, it may be true, you know, she, and um, that, that was, I never really thought about singing, I mean, I was only ever the singer of the Pet Shop Boys because Chris wouldn't sing, um, and, um, and I learned an awful lot about singing just from listening and watching her recording. My name is Dusty Springfield, and I refuse to be filming. When that midnight you I won't talk about the Holland years, no. Stop doing it, Dusty. Can I just say thank you it's so not much? It's me, it's me. It's not actually just oh! Oh my God! See, I told her if she wore oh, this and this, people would know who she was. That's the lightness is incredible. <gasps> the lips. Would you do me a favour? Mm -hmm. Could you do a little medley of her favourite numbers? Well, has she gone home? Well, it's just I, I think that she hasn't sung enough of the ones we want. All right. Could you do a medley? Yes. If I feed you yes. the actual yes. ones. Start with Monsieur Dupont. Her famous